what is the main cause of stuttering? In our brain, Wernicke's area and Broca's area control our speech and language. Wernicke's area helps in choosing the correct words to express our thoughts. Whereas Broca's area is believed to be involved in producing movements in vocal folds, tongue, etc., thus allowing us to speak those words. Now, stuttering can occur if a brain injury or stroke either damages the Broca's area or reduces the blood flow to this region, thus not allowing it to produce movements properly. Hmm. <laughs> huh? Why do men have deeper voices than women? According to a research, during prehistoric times, males had to fight for females. So deeper voices allowed them to appear more intimidating and dominant, thus scaring their opponent away. Now, let's see how this deep voice is produced. The size of larynx or voice box is greater in males as compared to females. Hence, the vocal folds or cords present within the larynx lengthen as well as thicken. As a result, when males speak, the folds vibrate less per second, thus producing a deeper voice. Why do men have an Adam's apple but women don't? Adam's apple is basically a protruding chunk of thyroid cartilage that surrounds our larynx or a voice box. It is more prominent in men because during puberty the larynx tends to grow more in males than it does in females. As a result, in men it causes the cartilage to project outwards, thus creating an Adam's apple. Some researchers believe that a larger Adam's apple may also play a role in deepening our voice. Hmm. How does a cough happen? When anything irritates our breathing passage, our brain activates the cough response. First of all, we gasp in a large volume of air into our lungs. Next, our epiglottis closes, thus closing off the windpipe. Then our rib muscles begin to contract, thus putting pressure on the lungs. But as the windpipe is closed, the air can't move out, so more pressure builds up. Finally, the epiglottis opens and air forcefully rushes out, carrying the irritant and thus producing a cough. Hmm. <laughs> huh? What is the science behind blood rain? Firstly, around Sahara Desert, Brownish dust and sand carried away by storms mixes with water droplets in the clouds, thus giving the rain its brownish red color. Hmm. Secondly, in Kerala, red spores of Trentipolelia annulata algae get carried away by winds and mix with the falling water droplets, thus causing blood rain. Hmm. Lastly, in Zamora, Hematococcus pluvialis algae actually get caught in the rain clouds. As a result, they get stressed and produce a red pigment called astaxanthin, thus causing blood rain. Hmm. Why are some people claustrophobic? Claustrophobia is an anxiety disorder. It is an intense fear of confined or enclosed spaces. Symptoms of claustrophobia may include shortness of breath, faster heartbeat, sweating, etc. Hmm. Some researchers believe that a defect in one of our genes may be the cause of our claustrophobia. Hmm. It is also believed that if one of our parents has claustrophobia, huh? then we are more likely to have it. Hmm. Finally, it is also believed that our fear of enclosed spaces may be stemming from a traumatic childhood event like being stuck in an elevator. Hmm. What exactly huh? is cholesterol? I think. I think. It is probably an alien. Oh, chum-pum! Cholesterol is a waxy, fat-like substance. It is present in all the cells of our body. Cholesterol helps in building cells, vitamins, as well as hormones. Our liver makes all the cholesterol needed by us. But sometimes, our eating habits can force our liver to make more cholesterol than necessary. As a result, there is too much cholesterol in our blood. It combines with other substances and forms a thick, hard deposit on the inside of our arteries. As a result, our arteries become narrow, increasing the risk of heart disease or stroke. Hmm. 
What is the science behind our chins? No ways! There is nothing behind my chin. Oh, chum pum! Firstly, it is believed that chins relieve our jaws from the stress that they encounter while chewing food. Secondly, it is believed that our tongues may be putting a lot of stress on our jaws while speaking. Now our chin may be acting as a reinforcing bone, which resists that pressure. Thirdly, it is believed that chins exist to help us attract mates. Lastly, according to one theory, our ancestors had bigger faces. We evolved into smaller ones, and our chins are still gradually shrinking. Hmm. Can zebras be domesticated? Impossible. You see what they did to me? Oh, chum pum. Firstly, zebras are known to have one of the strongest kicks in the animal kingdom. Secondly, zebras are known to have an extremely powerful bite. Thirdly, as compared to horses, it is extremely difficult to capture a zebra using a lasso, as zebras have a very efficient built-in ducking reflex. Hmm. Lastly, horses have a strong family structure. If the head of the family is captured, then the rest of the family follows him. The same is not the case with a zebra. Hmm. Why is ketchup so difficult to pour? No problem. Just use a tomato. Huh? Oh, chum pum. Firstly, as compared to water, ketchup has a higher viscosity. Viscosity is the resistance of a fluid to flowing. That means ketchup provides more resistance to flowing as compared to water. Ketchup consists of many ingredients. But if we look closely, the solid parts of the ketchup, as in the tomato bits, are actually touching each other. This physical connection of the tomato bits gives ketchup the strength to resist flowing. Hence, ketchup is so hard to pour. Hmm. Why do humans have so many moles? Simple, because I invented them. Huh? Oh, chum pum. Our skin has cells called melanocytes. They give our skin its color. However, sometimes these cells tend to grow in clusters, thus huh? forming moles. Moles can be present at birth or can appear later in life. Huh? They are usually black or brown and can be flat or raised. Some moles may even disappear with age. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. How can some people predict rain? Simple, by using their sixth sense. Oh, chum pum. Lightning usually occurs just before the beginning of heavy rainfall. Nitrogen and oxygen molecules which are present in the atmosphere are split by the lightning bolts. This eventually leads to the production of ozone. Now, strong blowing winds carry this ozone downward along with them. Ozone is a very sharp smelling gas. When a person smells this ozone, it helps him predict the rain. Hmm.